everybody and welcome to basic Japanese class for beginners. Now last time if you remember in the end I left you with this phrase mata ashita aimasho which means let us meet again tomorrow. I will add this small little phrase before this sore deva minasan mata ashita aimasho. It means Sore deva. In that case, well then, minasan, all of you, let us meet again tomorrow. So, well, let us meet again tomorrow is what the phrase meant. Now, we have been doing hiragana in the previous two lessons. We have completed quite a few sets earlier. Today, we will do the ma set or the M sound, the letter M and the sound ma. So, again we can combine letter m with a e u a o and make ma, mi, mu, me, mo. I will write it down for you and then we will do the vocabulary. Ma, mi, mu, me, mo. For ma, the words are makura, which means pillow, macaroni, which you all already know is macaroni, machi, means town, mi, mimi. Mimi means ear, Michi means road, Mu, Mune means chest, Mugi means wheat, Me, Me means eyes, Megane spectacles. Momo, speech, mochi, sticky rice cakes which are very very popular in Japan are loved by children. Mon is a gate, any entrance, any gate, main door of a house or a place is called mon. There is vocabulary for you, more vocabulary which is very very important you have to learn this vocabulary as it will help you in making sentences later and in talking. Mame, Matsuri, Mikan, Miruku. You can see Miruku is written in Katakana again because it is a foreign word. Mushi, Mura, Meishi, Meishi. Now these two words, they sound very similar, but one is Meishi, which means a business card, and the other one is Meishi, which is rice or meals. Mori, Momen. We come to the Ya series now. Ya, Yagi, Yane, Yakitori, Yasai and the meanings are listed over here on the right side for you. Now you will see that after Ya we do not have a Yi. Simple reason that Yi is similar to the vowel sound E, thus it has been removed from there and directly we go on to U, Yuki, Yuki Daruma, 
ゆれゆめ。Now again, you will see that after you, ye is not there. Why? Because ye again is similar to the vowel sound a. So it has been removed from the series and we directly go on to yo, yoru, yome, yon. Yon you have already done, so you will remember it. After the y series, we will do the ra series now. The letter R. I will write it again for you. The Ya series first and then the Ra series. Ya. You. And. Yo. Then we have. Ra. Ra, Ri, Ru, Re, and Ro. Rakuda, Rayon, Ringo, Risu. Rutsubo, Ruru, Rei, Renga, Roketto, Robotto. After Ro, we have Wa. Wa. There is nothing after wa. We have o, and then the sound n. Now wa, wani, washi. O is a different sound. O is a particle over here, and n is to be used. With words as in remon, lemon. So we will do n later on with words. For the time being, let us see what we have now for you. O and m. Quick pronunciation practice. You remember doing it last time. We'll do it again. It will help you in speech. As the sounds are new, the letters are new, the words are new. So you will. Have practice with this pronunciation. Just repeat after me, please. O e e e. Ho he he he. Ko ki ki ke. He he hu ho. Sasu sase. Tachi tatsu, koki kuko, nani ne no, sase suso, nani nune, sushi sase. Techi tsuto, tachi tsute, mami mume, tochi tatsu, memi mumo, hahi heho, momi mime. Ho he he he. Ya yu ya yo. Sa 
Ashi Sasu Rari Rure Hahi Hahu Reri Raro. So please, I hope this is going to help you all. Last time in our previous class, I had done how to answer in positive. Kumar san wa gaku sei this ka. Do you remember all of you? Well, Kumar san wa, wa is a particle I told you earlier, gakse is a student, this is the verb part and ka as I had told you earlier makes a statement into a question. So, Kumar san wa gakse des ka, the answer I told you was hi, how to say in positive, hi Kumar san wa gakse des, okay. Hi, Kumar Sanwa Gakse Des. Well, today, how would you say negative? Kumar Sanwa Gakse Des ka? E E E E. Please remember E E E E E. Kumar Sanwa Gakse Deva Ari. Masen. The negative for this is deva arimasen. Iye, no, Kumar san is not a student. Iye, Kumar san wa gakse deva arimasen. Kumar san wa gakse deva arimasen. So, you could please repeat after me. Iye, Kumar san wa gakse deva arimasen. Conversation between two over here, Honda san and Kumar san. Kumar san wa gakse desu ka? Iye, watashi wa gakse dewa arimasen. Or, Iye, Kumar san wa gakse dewa arimasen. Now, you can replace Kumar san for anything. For another noun over here. Kumar san mm. Tomodachi Tomodachi wa gakusei desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa gakusei desu. Okasan Okasan is mother. Okasan wa Sensei desu ka? Hai, okasan wa sensei desu. So, you can re replace this noun over here and this over here with whatever we have done in lesson 2. You can put a name over here, you can put your profession over here. For example, tomodachi wa bengoshi desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa bengoshi desu. Or you could also say, Iye tomodachi wa bengoshi dewa arimasen. So, this is positive and negative. The negative for this is dewa arimasen. Short answers, hai so des. Or Iye so dewa arimasen. Now, we will do something new today. Where are you from? Where do you come from? What is the name of your country? Something new over here, we learn this today. This is a simple conversation, a very small conversation here. Konnichiwa, ah, tomodachi desu ka? So this, Mary san wa dai gakusei desu. Hajime mashite, kimu desu, dozo yoroshiku. 
。失礼ですが、お国はどちらですか。私はアメリカからです。よろしくお願いします。金さんは台湾からですか。中国からですか。台湾からです。どちらからですか。this is a simple conversation。I'll read it out to you first。So it's a conversation between three people today Kim san, John san, and Mary san. Konnichiwa. Ah, tomodachi desu ka? So desu. Mary san wa daigakse desu. Hajime ma shite, Kim desu. Dozo yoroshiku. Shitsure desu ga, o kuni wa dochira desu ka? Watashi wa アメリカからです。よろしくお願いします。キムさんは台湾からですか？中国からですか？台湾からです。So I know it sounds very strange to you. A lot of things you do not know over here. We'll discuss it right now. Well, you can see the conversation is here in the script now. どちらからですか？ And you have Kim and John written in katakana. You have some kanji characters here, and of course, you can make out the hiragana now. So, you will notice that Japanese is written in all three scripts and they are used simultaneously. Of course, you can write Japanese in any one of the scripts also. Just go over it, practice your hiragana. Your katakana and the kanjis that we have done, and you will feel comfortable. Now, this is your translation in English. Well, all the time translation cannot be done, it does not sound right. So, sometimes I have written what is said in English. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa is a phrase which is used as a greeting anytime you meet. Someone in the daytime, konnichiwa. It is a simple greeting. Hello, good day, konnichiwa. Ah, tomodachi desu ka? Tomodachi means friend. Tomodachi is friend. Ah, tomodachi desu ka? So desu. Short answer, hai, so desu or so desu. Mary san wa daigakse desu. You have already done daigakse. Daigakse means uh, uh, university student, graduate student. So, now what does Kim say to Mary san? Hajime mashite. Kim desu. Dozo yoroshiku. Shitsure desu ga. O kuni wa dochira desu ka? Shitsure desu ga is a phrase which means I am sorry for inquiring, but and whatever follows is what the person wants to know. So, I am sorry, I am asking you something directly like this. Shitsure desu ga, I apologize, but o kuni wa dochira desu ka? Kuni is country, kuni means country, and o in front of kuni like this is honorific. For someone else's country, you would always ask, O kuni wa, O kuni wa dochira desu ka? And for your own self, for your own country, you would just say, Kuni. Wa dochira desu ka? Dochira. Dochira means where. It is a typical way of asking, Where are you from? Not, Where is your country? This phrase, okuni wa dochira desu ka means, where are you from? Mary says, watashi wa amerika kara desu. Watashi wa amerika kara desu, meaning from America. Watashi wa amerika kara desu. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Again, because she is meeting Kim san for the first time, then you introduce yourself as Watashi wa so and so desu, watashi wa so and so kuni kara desu, and yoroshiku onegai shimasu. This phrase is to be used only for the first time 
when you meet someone. Now, Mary wants to know where is Kim from? She has already told him that she is from America. Now, she wants to know where he is from. So, she asks, Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? Now, we had, we had done in our last lesson, if you put ka in the end, it becomes a question, interrogative statement, interrogative um, statement. So, the first, you, ha you will see over here that we have one ka over here and the next ka over here. So, we have two ka's over here. Now, when you put it like this, this ka of course makes it into a question, a sentence into a question, but this ka shows or, or, or as in English, this or, this choice between two. So, over here she says, Taiwan kara this ka chu goku kara this ka. Are you from Taiwan or are you from China? So, please you can use it for anything. You can replace Taiwan over here and Chugoku over here. These are two nouns. You can replace them with Anata wa daigakusei desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Anata wa kyoshi desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Anything you can ask. Are you a lawyer? Are you a doctor? Are you a student or are you a teacher? You can ask any of these things in this pattern. It is choice between two things. So, over here you will see Mary says Kim san wa Taiwan kara desu ka? Chugoku kara desu ka? So, Kim says Taiwan kara desu. I am from Taiwan. I hope this is clear. This is two cars over here. Ka 1 and ka 2. This makes it a question and this is or. Please remember that. And you can ask anyone anything like this. America, Indo. America kara desu ka? Indo kara desu ka? Bengoshi desu ka? Isha desu ka? Shufu desu ka? Sensei desu ka? So, anything you can ask, you can put any noun over there and you can ask for anything like this. Now, over here, as you can see, dochira is an interrogative word referring to place meaning where and is a standard way of asking the name of someone's country or company. Please remember that with dochira when you say okuni wa dochira desu ka, you generally ask the person where he is from. Please remember and not where his country is. Kaisha wa dochira desu ka meaning where are you working and not where is your kaisha or office. Similarly over here, o kuni, kuni is country and o is a prefix used before country and some other Japanese words. For example, onamai which we will do a little later. Whenever a place name, place name is followed by kara, it states from that all right please? It is written over here when a place name is followed by kara, it shows that a person is from that place or country and it is a most widely used expression for asking where a person is from. Now, we have done you are from India or you are from 
America or you are from Japan. But what about I am Japanese or I am Indian or I am American. I belong to this country. So well, there is a, there is a definite way of saying it. Vata shi wa America Indo. This is India. Nihon. This is Japan. Do itsu. Germany. Watashi wa America Jin des. America Jin des. Watashi wa Indo Jin des. Watashi wa Nihon Jin des. Watashi wa Doitsu Jin des. Now, Jin over here means person and it says Watashi wa I am American, I am Indian, I am Japanese and I am German. So, Jin is used for person belonging to that country. You can ask a question, Kim san wa America jin desu ka? So, you can answer in Hai, watashi wa America jin desu or Iie, watashi wa America jin dewa arimasen. As you can see, add jin after the name of the country, Kankoku jin, Italia jin, Doitsu jin, Chugoku jin, Vietnam jin. So, after the name of the country, just add jin and you become belong to that country. Just now we did x deska, y deska, noun 1 deska, noun 2 deska. It simply says or or either. There is a choice between the two. Now, for noun 1, you can also use simple, you can also replace it with simple words that you have done. Enpitsu, kyokasho, pen, noto, Jisho, jibiki, jibiki. So, you can replace it with any of this. Empitsu is pencil and pen of course, you all know. So, you can ask like this. Pen desu ka? Empitsu desu ka? So, there is a choice between the two. Which is it? So, is it a pen or a pencil? Pen desu ka? Empitsu desu ka? In a similar manner, you can also ask noto kyokasho. Noto desu ka? Kyokasho desu ka? Noto desu ka? Kyokasho desu ka? So, you can inquire about these things. Some, some pictures are there for you. You can point at the picture and ask pen desu ka, enpitsu desu ka. As I just told you, kyokasho desu ka, noto desu ka. You can also ask a person, gakusei desu ka, kyoshi desu ka, kaban desu ka, saifu desu ka. Point at an object and you can ask at this object over here, keitai desu ka, keisanki desu ka. Keisanki is a calculator. Over here, kaban desu ka, saifu desu ka. So, you can point at anything, you can ask anyone anything you want in this pattern, in this manner. A simple useful expression, we did this earlier, shitsure desu ga in our uh, conversation just now, as I told you, shitsure desu ga means 
sorry for asking, I apologize for asking like this, but and whatever is to follow is what you actually want to know. So, over here it is something different, shitsure desu ga, o namae wa nan desu ka? Namae means name, but if I ask someone else, honorific you have to add this honorific over here, o namae, o namae wa nan desu ka? Nan is a simple question word, question word meaning what? O namae wa nan desu ka? The moment you say o namae, it automatically means that you are asking someone else and it is not your own name. O namae wa nan desu ka? So, you can answer watashi wa whatever your name this. Watashi wa tanaka jim. Kim, Jane, Rao, whatever your name this means my name is this. Now, for practice again we have done numbers till 30 today, we will do from 31 till 40 over here. You can just repeat after me for practice and to get the correct pronunciation. Sanju Ichi. Sanju ni, Sanju san, Sanju yon, or Sanju shi, Sanju go, Sanju roku, Sanju nana, or Sanju shichi, Sanju hachi, Sanju q, and Yonju. I hope you got it right. The next set is from 41 till 50. Yonju ichi, Yonju ni, Yonju san, Yonju shi, or Yonju yon, Yonju go, Yonju roku, Yonju nana or yonju shichi, yonju hachi, yonju q and we have goju over here. Okay, now we have something different over here, we are going to do some kanji characters. We had done kanji characters in lesson 2 as well, only 3 though. So, we will do 4, 5 and 6. Now, how, how to make kanji characters, how to memorize them, there is a method, there is a pattern to make it, you have to remember that. Kanji characters are all written from left to right and from top to bottom most of the time. The reason is that whenever you end a character, it should always end in the right lower corner of the block. We did ichi which finished here, we did ni, two simple lines which ended over here, three lines san, it ended over here in this block like this and then you can go on to writing the next character. That is why it is important to always memorize the stroke order and try to end it always over here. Now, we will do yon which you have done, ichi, ni, this is one stroke, san, shi and 
go. This is yon. Ichi ni san shien go. Five strokes to the kanji character for yon, which is four. Once again, ichi ni san shien go. It will always end over here. For example, if you have to write yonju, which is 40. It is easy to go on to the next character. Yon has two readings you have done yon and she. The kanji is the same yon. You can see it over here. She or yon, this is how it is to be made. Then we go on to the next character, which is go go 1, 2, 3, similar to this one, 3 and 4, like this, 4 strokes to the character go 5, once again 1, 2, 3 and 4, please remember 1, 2, 3, 1 stroke and this makes it go. Then we will do 6 over here, 6, 6 which is roku, it is very simple, not difficult at all, 1, 2, 3 and 4. 4 like this 1 2 3 and 4 roku roku is that okay please remember roku just three characters for you today now not more so you have done ichi once again for you please ichi ni san Yon, Go and Roku. Six characters, please memorize them. Remember the readings, we will be needing them when we do numbers later on with other things. So, sore de wa kore de owarimasu. You can see what is written over here, sore de wa, well then kore de owarimasu. With this, I finish here today. So, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.